Hey folks, this is Duke here giving you a look at an Avalanche fifth wheel Keystone Avalanche. It just arrived. It's a 2022, the 338 GK. That is the Grand Kitchen. So they have, I'm going to agree with Keystone on this and use the adjective that they have chosen. This kitchen is truly grand. I don't use that adjective often, but I'm going to use it right now. This is grand. And what it has is, uh, one of the things that makes it grand is this, look at this. You've got prep area here, counter space galore. But it's also multifunctional. This is a bar. It's a true bar. It's got a foot rail there. And no bar, bar will be out complete without bar stools. And look at that. They're still strapped in. This one just arrived. There's the four chairs that go with the dinette. And there's a leaf on there. But back to the grand kitchen. So here it is. Let's take a look at it here. You see you've got a pantry door there. You've got pantry space. Lots of storage in this one. Hey, if you're going to have a grand kitchen, you have to have plenty of stuff to cook. Plenty of... Uh, plenty of things to prepare in your kitchen. You've got four drawers down there. This is a little coffee bar little nook there you can put a coffee pot there's a plug for it more storage up there and if you're a real connoisseur you could of fine wines you could put your wine bottles up there you've got pantry space there for items you want to grab real quick more storage space there and look behind this uh, sink there's four drawers down there just a ton of storage and then you even got uh, you want some dedicated storage for your bar it's right there you can be the bartender you could be a whatever kind of bar you want it to be i went too far with that but look at that residential hinges these are well-made rvs this keystone avalanche is a uh, very well-made rv it's got the uh, residential faucet there and then the sink covers i'm gonna go ahead and lift this up you've got a big stainless steel sink there and then a smaller one right next to it i don't really think you need to keep these uh covers deployed you probably have a storage space for them down here so i, I would probably put those in storage i got so much other counter space i don't need that but it's nice to have if you need it and you got two trash cans so you could use that one for cycling and one for recycling or just however you want to use it. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. So that is the Grand Kitchen. Of course, it has a uh, nice oven with a three-burner cooktop. You've got a huge microwave oven, full residential fridge. This one is equipped with the Solar Flex 200. So there's a 200-watt solar panel on the roof, solar charge controller, inverter. Keep that fridge going while you're traveling with uh, just good old sunshine. So uh, let me uh, flip the switch on those that light right there. You got a light up there. Again, this breakfast area, uh, this little nook here, you've got window space. So you could sit here and experience RV luxury, look out the window, have the chairs set up, work on your laptop, have a cup of coffee, have a meal, do whatever you want to do. Just enjoy your, uh, enjoy the RV lifestyle. So, uh, let's take a quick look at this front living area. You've got the uh, theater seats, Thomas Paine theater seats, and they are on a slide out right there that's surrounded by windows. You got the triple wide sofa in the back that makes into a king size bed. It's a trifold sofa. So, if you've got guests or need an additional sleeping, this one will accommodate somebody very comfortably. It has that. Uh, electric fireplace. I'm going to go ahead and walk over there and take a look. It's got a ceiling fan, some beautiful light fixtures. I could turn those on, but it'll create a little bit of a glare, so I think you can see them better. So there are the theater seats. The stabilizer bars are not down on this one, or the stabilizer uh, jacks, sorry. It's really cool how they put that uh, little rail there, foot rail. So you have the Electric fireplace will provide ambiance and electric heat. Huge TV. Nice sound system there with stereo speakers. There's some storage up there. 
And while we're looking at storage, there's some additional storage up there. Very convenient for tall people. And uh, windows all the way around. That's You've got windows. I'm just sitting here. This isn't the best cinematography here, but you've got windows all the way around. So if wherever your backyard is, while you're out enjoying a, the RV lifestyle in America, it could be on your land, but it might be in the uh, Smoky Mountains. It could be up there in Arkansas, the Ozark Mountains. You could be out on the Gulf of Mexico, taking a uh, nice little trip out to Florida, wherever you want to go. Utah, California, Arizona, it's its your whole... It's Let's go on up the stairs to the uh, bathroom and bedroom area. So right here they have a uh, a framed-in cabinet here, or a door to protect your fuse box, breaker box. That's a very nice touch. You're not going to be bumping into that. And it won't come open accidentally. And then they put a clear glass panel on this uh, control center right here. Sorry about my fingers there. This is where you control the slides. You can monitor your system, the tanks, uh, turn the lights on, the awnings, uh, extend the awnings, all that stuff right there. But you can uh, view that through this. That's a nice touch they put that there. Here is a, a thermostat control for your max air fan. So the max air fan is up there. So that will clear out the air very well. Uh, let me give you a better look at these uh, lighting fixtures here that they have in above the bar. Some really nice looking uh, lighting fixtures, nice looking light bulbs. So I hope you uh, are enjoying this view of this brand new floor plan. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the bathroom. So you can enter the bedroom through this door. There's a window in the hallway, but there is a door to the bedroom, a door to the bathroom here, and then a, another door to the bedroom. So you can enter the bathroom from the from the bedroom or the hallway. Has a well-positioned toilet, so legroom won't be a problem. You will be just fine. Nice uh, place to brush your teeth. These uh, little storage areas here. I'm going to try to give you that. I'm going to give you a good shot. Those are a little bit narrow, but you can put a lot of stuff back in there. So it's just additional storage. And then you have the uh, medicine cabinet right here. So you got plenty of room for your toiletries. Nice looking fixture here for your uh, bathroom sink. And place to sit down in the shower. You got the sliding glass okay, door so there. You're now in the master suite. You can see there's windows on each side of the bed. Those little blackout shades are down right now. And uh, it is a king size bed. There is a 110 outlet right down there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right underneath the shelf. There is a 110 outlet. You can plug in your CPAP machine if you need to. Let's take a look. There is one over here also. And if you need a place for your CPAP machine, let's give me one second here. You could put a little table right there. You could put it on the floor there, plug it in, or you could put it on a table. So. That, it does have a spot for a CPAP machine if that is a concern for you. And uh, go ahead and open up these uh, closet doors. It's got it, nice mirrors there. But plenty of closet space, plenty of space to hang your stuff up. And then it's got a compartment here you can use for additional closet space. Got this more shelf space. Or you could put a, a little washer dryer, RV washer dryer in here if you so choose to do that. On this wall over here, there is a uh, dresser, chest of drawers, and this one has a place to hook up a TV, a backer location. So this is just a first look here. I'll, I'll try to do a more complete video, but I want you to see this floor plan of the uh, Keystone Avalanche 338 GK, the Grand Kitchen. I'm Duke. I will put my contact information uh, in the video right now, and then also it'll be in the description below. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, checking this one out.